On this special podcast of What's Up with Wendy, I'm talking to one of my favorite people, celebrity trainer and nutritionist, Harley Pasternak. Um, he did give one touching story about his, um, his day with Kobe Bryant and Kanye West. Uh, you won't want to miss this. And listen in at the end of this podcast for a limited time only special offer from the number one weighted blanket in the world, my Blankwell. He has worked with Lady Gaga, Gwyneth Paltrow, Halle Berry, Kim Kardashian, John Mayer, Rihanna, and so much more. He hasn't worked with me yet, though. One of the most sought-after celebrity trainers and nutritionists around. Welcome back, Harley Pasternak. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm waiting for you to come work me out, but it's okay. One of these days. So best topics to talk about ever, get fit um, and eat better. Um, let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, what would you like to talk about? Well, let's start with, first of all, sleep. How important is sleep? Sleep is so important. It's supposed to be one-third of our lives. And not only are we not doing it enough, we're not doing it well enough. More than ever, um, we're just overwhelmed with technology. We're working longer hours than we ever have. We're drinking more caffeine than we ever have. We have more screen time than we ever have. And that's amounting to very bad sleep habits and very bad sleep. So I tell everyone, cut out caffeine in the afternoons. It's fine to have it in the morning. Um, alcohol is a personal choice, but just know it's going to disrupt your quality of sleep in a big way. Uh, try not to look at your screen time or try to not look at any screens just before you go to bed. Try and minimize that at least an hour before bed. No laptop, tablet, uh, cell phone. Um, and and don't do anything stressful just before you go to bed. Don't read the news. Um, I use a sound machine when I go to bed at night, the, the, that ambient noise with the little sound of water drops or the river. Uh, that works for me. Um, for those of you who suffer from chronic pain, try and deal with that before you go to bed. So I use a, a, a product called CBD Medic on my lower back to take the edge off of pain sometimes. Um, so whatever it is, your favorite pillow, earplugs, whatever works for you, just make more of an effort to sleep properly. It's interesting, Harley. Everyone I've been talking to lately, from celebrities to authors, celeb anyone around, they're all saying the phone, stay away from the phone at night. Gosh, the phone. It These tells your brain that it's time to be alert. And it's daytime, and that's very confusing when you're trying to go to sleep. Yeah, hopefully we're teaching these kids the same thing. It's not, it's not easy at all. Are you live from a farm? I am live from a farm. Well, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> I am in Pixley, California. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm on Bob and Arlene Vanderike's dairy farm. Uh, I woke up this morning at 3 a.m. I have completely been overwhelmed with curiosity of... <laughs> of what is it like to be on a dairy farm and what does it do to the environment and what does it do to my body, dairy, and you're not going to believe. I expected to see a, a, a farmer with overalls and a straw hat and a pitchfork on a tractor, and I pulled up, and the first thing I saw was almost 4,000 solar panels. Stop. Don't ruin it for oh. me. I want the overalls. <laughs> And so over, yeah, but it's crazy. Over half the farm is, is powered by the sun. Wow. And then I expected to see these giant piles of manure. You hear these stories of yeah. back in the day on dairy farms and, and how manure can cause greenhouse gases. And But there's no piles of manure. Instead, I see these, like a giant reservoir covered with this dome with these pipes coming from it. And he says, the manure is in there. And that's what's it doing in there. He said, it's being converted to methane and being sold as energy back into the grid. Wow. And I, I said, wait, this is <laughs> really? <laughs> and, and then um, I wanted to see what cows eat. I didn't know. I, I mean, what do, what do horses eat? Straw? I mean, I don't know anything about farming. What do cows eat? I, I have no idea. And so then I see this giant tractor come, this big truck come, open its back and drops the biggest thing of mashed carrots you've ever seen because it came from a uh, carrot juice manufacturer down the road. So after they juice the carrots, they bring all the pulp to the cow farm, um, to the dairy farm, and it's mixed in. Instead of being thrown in a land farm, it's actually included in the feed of the cows. And then another truck comes and drops up all these grapes <gasps> that were used to make wine. And after they make the wine, instead of throwing the grapes in the landfill, they bring them here and they mix it in with the feed. And then 
I see them bring all this wheat and corn from another part of the farm that they grow here on the farm, and they fertilize that with the manure of the cows, and that's brought it. So it's just this amazing system of reusing, um, recycling, and and just very like incredibly environmentally efficient. That's so cool. You think, what is the celebrity trainer nutritionist doing on a farm? Well, we are what we eat, right? We are what we ate, and and you know my background is in food sciences, and uh, I'm I'm always been fascinated to, to know about what goes in our body and what goes into making what goes into our body. It's um, and, and you hear a lot about you know greenhouse gases. So from what I understand, the the uh, carbon footprint or the greenhouse footprint on a glass of milk has been reduced by seventy percent in the last seventy years. Wow. Amazing. If you just tune in, I'm talking to celebrity trainer and nutritionist Harley Pasternak. He's also the New York Times bestselling author whose books include Five Factor Fitness, Five Factor Diet, The Five Factor World Diet, The Body Reset Diet, The Body Reset Diet Cookbook. So much. Is there going to be another book? I think there will. I've got some ideas. Um, if you have any, give them to me, you know, and I'll, I'll mention you in the front. I'll thank you for everything. A day in the life of training. What's up with Wendy? Okay, how can we eat more balanced? It's so hard. I think in, in that sentence is really the call out of what we need to do. It's really about balance. It's not about eliminating food groups or fasting until 2 p.m. or there's just so many radical diets today, more than I've ever seen. And the more radical, the less likely you're going to stick to it. Isn't so um, I eat three meals a day and a couple snacks, and every meal should have a quality protein. So think about eggs, dairy, fish, um, healthy fats like nuts, seeds, olives, and lots of vegetables and high-fiber fruits, and just cut out refined sugars. That's really all you need to worry about. Refined sugars. Okay. That's Good to know. All right, what are your go-to exercises and how much? I'm a, I'm a big walker. That's like what I found that I like to walk, to ride my bike. Um, is it important to, if, as long as we love what we're doing, doesn't that help a lot? I think that's a big part of it. Um, walking is by far the most important exercise you can do. You can do it any, anyhow, anywhere, with anyone. You don't need equipment easy on your joints. Um, the healthiest populations in the world all walk over 11,000 steps a day. So I think walking is the first thing you need to do. And the second thing you need to do is really strengthen your body. And a lot of people leave that out. They just worry about cardio. Um, there's a move called the Harley. And no, I did not call it the Harley. Um, Good Morning America called it the Harley. And it's a simple move to help you strengthen your posterior chain, all the muscles in the back of your body, lying on the ground, uh, with your feet shoulder width apart, knees bent, a dumbbell in each hand, arms up to the ceiling and hips all the way up to the ceiling, and then hinge your elbows, bring the dumbbells down on either side of your ear as your hips come down, and everything goes up, everything goes down. So your glutes, your hamstrings, your triceps, it's a great simple movement. Oh, that is a good simple movement. It sounds good. And drinking, water, so important, right? Staying hydrated, fluids. It doesn't only have to be water. Um, but water is important. Uh, trying to have uh, six to eight glasses of water a day or two to three liters of fluids a day, and uh, we often confuse dehydration with hunger. So the hydration is very important. And try to make sure that what you're drinking does not have added sugars. Okay, that's, that's key too. So many good things, and sleep is so important. Everyone has to remember that. Um, and get out there and walk. And any great stories from any of the celebrities that you train? I mean, I have stories for days. Um, I, you, you, you name what you want to do. I've got a story of how Kanye and I, West and I, we went hiking in, in uh, Oahu in Hawaii just to get some cardio. And we were so deep in conversation, just enjoying the conversation. And next thing you know, we're on the side of this, uh, this hill and uh, there's a sign in front of us that says uh, uh, danger, undetonated landmines. And we realized we, we had stumbled a, 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 in, in an old uh, military installation, and we, we didn't know how we were going to get back. <laughs> oh, God. So that was, that was one, you know, um, I've gone, uh, uh, played basketball with LL Cool J, who was without a doubt the worst basketball player I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. 
Mm-hmm. Not only could I make a basket, couldn't even hit the backboard. Oh, God. Every time he missed, I just said, you're going to run the court as your cardio. And, and all of a sudden, after a bunch of running and missing shots, he made one. <laughs> and he said, wow, I made one. And I said, great. He goes, what do I get? I said, well, I'll tell you what, if you make another shot, I'll run the court. <laughs> and so I laughed. You know, he's not going to. Without even missing a beat, he hit his next shot and his next shot and his next shot and his next shot. And I realized I got sharked. He said, I'm from New York. You don't think I can play basketball? <laughs> That's funny. It's a good one. And we, um, this past week has been heartbreaking. I know you posted a picture um, with Kobe. Our just hearts are broken for the family and all the families who lost someone in that horrible helicopter crash. Um, oh. But seeing that picture that you post on Instagram, his face and your face, oh, my God. Just ripped. That was one of the best days of my life. You know, that, that was... Um, uh, Kanye had called me the night before and said, you're not going to believe this. Uh, Kobe wants to train us. I said, what do you mean? He, goes, he wants to put us through a workout. I said, I've never let anybody put me through a workout. I'm the guy who puts people through workouts, but let's do it. So we, we woke up at some ungodly early hour and, and drove to Newport Beach, and Kobe was there waiting, I think, at 5.30 in the morning. He was already standing there looking at his clock. He's like, What's, you guys are late. Let's go. And, and he just had this passion for life, um, a love for basketball that uh, I couldn't believe at his, at his point in his career. He'd already won all these championships and, you know, was sort of a, the, the, the down part of his career. But, but still, um, all he did was talk about basketball and care about basketball and push us and drive us and lead by example and show me videos of Scottie Pippen playing defense and his footwork. And it's just he lived and breathed basketball. Yeah, and and uh, and lived and breathed for his family and his girls. Yeah, crazy, crazy life in one split second. So that's why we have to take care of ourselves. We have to sleep. We have to exercise. We have to eat well, balanced. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? <laughs> and it's worth waking up at three in the morning to go see where your milk comes from because <laughs> um, no, just and it just it, Kobe never stopped. Uh, looking for information, for how to better himself, for, and I think the same we should apply to all of our health. You know, just keep pushing and driving and questioning and looking and searching. And there's so many confusing documentaries out today that all have agendas. Forget about those documentaries. You want to know something? Go find out yourself. Go to that place. You know, you, you, uh, you read the original source of research. Read, read books um, from scientists from people who are not, um, you know, creative people and, and kind of giving their interpretation of stuff. I wanted to know where my milk came from, and, and this is where I came to do it, and it's so cool. It's so cool. It's so cool to be on a farm. I'm sure it is. You're one of my favorite people ever to talk to, Harley Pasternak. Thank, Thank you, you for joining me again. Um, I always love your tips, and you inspire me all the time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for listening to today's podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my podcast channel for weekly interviews and please tell your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Wendy Lowy Sloan. That's Wendy Lowy Sloan, W-E-N-D-Y-L-O-W-Y-S-L-O-A-N-E. And on Facebook, What's Up With Wendy? And For a limited time only, you can get the number one weighted blanket in the world for 40% off. Use code WENDY for 40% off myblankwell.com. That's myblankwell, B-L-A-N-Q-U-I-L.com for a limited time only, 40% off with the code WENDY.